So this is the recorded trip. And I can look at this trip in this view in QMapShack, and I can drag the mouse around on this graph and see my progress on the course. And what I want to pay attention to is how the bicyclist moved around on this course. Because I want to make a new ride from this, but I want to make it a little different. I want to go in different directions. I don't want to do the entire course. I want to use, you know, functions in QMap Shack, splitting the track, you know, deleting tracks, reversing tracks, joining tracks. And I want to, I want to start with this recorded ride. And I want to end up with a little bit different ride. That's an out and back trip. So I'm going to start at the same place, but instead of going out here, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to get to an end point, and then I'm going to turn around and come back. Going out and coming back. So what I like to do is I want to, I want to keep making new project folders. And I look at this as a way to sort of have incremental backups in case I make a mistake it's easier to go back a little ways than to have to start all over again. I've got some sketches, maybe to make things a little bit clearer. In the original recording, you know, the track looked like that. And I want to instead end up with, instead of going this way, I want to go this way and go from A to B and then from B to A back again. And to make this happen in QMap Shack, can split a track in three places at B, C, and D. And A, C, the segment AC has to be reversed. And then I'm going to join the reversed AC to the segment DB. And then I've got the trip out. And then I can do similar things to get the out and back trip. So I, I'm going to say this is going to be the, the stopping point, the point B. So you split it, and it makes two new tracks, and I want to delete the original track. So we have two new tracks. And I do the other two splits. Now, when I had the, the maps and the elevations activated, all of this zooming and, and panning is a lot slower. Split. And split here. Again, I keep making new projects with a with a idea that incremental backups of my work are gonna save me if I make some kind of mistake. Then I can just go back to the previous one and do it over. So in this case, I think I'm done with this this track, and I'm done with this track. Now I want to make a single track going out from this point to this point, but I need all the all the directions of the tracks to make sense. 
this track is going the wrong way. So I want to reverse it. QMap Shack will make a, a new reversed track. So I want to delete the, the original. Here's the reverse one. And here's the original. So this track is going the right direction. And so is this one. In the original bicycle ride, there was, there was another mistake that I can easily correct. I mean, the person riding the bicycle really wanted to make this left turn, but they went the wrong way and I want to change this so the new track we're going to make the make the turn and go the right way so again this is just making some splits it's easy enough and get rid of this. I want to join these three tracks into a single track that is the trip out. And if I put them in the right order in this folder, Joining them is going to give me the result I want. Right now, they're not in the right order. We got this one, we got this one, and then we got this one, but I really want this one to be the first one. So I can just drag it up. I can make sure it ended up in the right place. And what about these two little gaps? Are they a problem? As long as these tracks have the arrows in the right direction, when I join these tracks, QMap Jack is just going to connect those two points together with a straight line. Can I just end up with a, with a straight line connection from there to there? And when I did the other split, might be over here someplace. There's also a little gap, but it's another, it's another case where, because these arrows are going in the right way, when I join this one to this one, QMap Shack is just gonna connect from here to here with a straight line. And that's good enough for the purpose of, of putting a a course to ride on a on a bicycle computer outdoors. So I join these three together. Combine tracks. Here's a preview. Just like to zoom in and make sure that the arrows are all going the right way. It looks like they are. I want to make a copy of this one. I want to copy it to its same location. And I want to create a clone. Because I want, I want to reverse this clone and then combine the out, out trip with the return trip. And 
going to reverse it. Delete that. So this looks like the desired return trip. So I want to combine the trip out with the return trip. And finally inspect this and see if it looks like the goal. So you come out to the end of the trip, going out, and then come back. Then I want to export this to a file that this Garmin device can use. Save it in the right format dot gpx copy this file and then the Garmin device in Linux shows up as a USB drive and I go in this Garmin folder to the folder new files paste in this new course that I want to ride outdoors on the bicycle and it turns out that if I unmount the Garmin and then mount it again the Garmin will, will take that file and turn it into a course and when it is converted into a course then when I'm outdoors on the bicycle I can uh, I can ride that course and you know look at the map and see where to go and at the same time the Garmin is recording the ride so you can kind of iterate and improve so hopefully this will be helpful to you if you want to use a, use this device with QMap Shack and record a ride and then cut and paste and split delete reverse do these operations and make something new and hopefully go out and ride what you created and not get lost.